morning everyone we're back once again with another amazing science tutorial video and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about acids bases and the pH scale so let's begin so acids are any compound that increases the number of hydrogen ions or H plus when dissolved in water and another name for hydrogen ions is hydronium ions and if you look at the three pictures I have at the bottom we have a battery, we have soda, and we have hot sauce. All three of these are considered acidic. Now, the more H plus or the more hydrogen ions they release in water means the more acidic that they are. So that's why you'll look at battery acid, and battery acid is more acidic than soda and hot sauce because it releases more hydrogen or hydronium ions when dissolved in water. Let's take a look at the properties of acids. So acids, they taste sour, they conduct electricity, they're corrosive, they turn blue litmus paper red, and they have a pH less than seven. So if you look at these candies up here, which I love to eat, they release a lot of hydrogen ions in a water solution. The reason why is because the material that they put on the outside is very sour. It has a lot of hydrogen or hydronium ions in it. And then we also said that acids can be corrosive. So if you notice, look at this corrosion eating away at this metal. And the reason why is because you have acid rain that falls from the sky over a long period of time, which corrodes this metal. We also said that it turned blue litmus paper red. So if you notice, look at this picture at the bottom. So when we dip this blue litmus paper in the solution, notice that the blue litmus paper turns red. And the reason why it turns red is because it has a lot of hydrogen or hydronium ions in it. And then we also said that acids have a pH less than 7. So here's 7 right here. Notice the further we get from 7, the stronger the acid becomes. So this is where your hydrochloric acid is, your battery acid. Then the closer we get to 7, the weaker it becomes. So that's when you see things like acid rain or like an apple. Let's take a look at bases. So bases are any compound that increases the number of hydroxide ions or you'll see OH negative as its symbol when dissolved in water. If you look at some common household bases, we have pure baking soda, we have ammonia, and we also have bleach. Notice that baking soda, we can use it for cooking, we can use it for brushing our teeth, for baking. We would never use ammonia or bleach for cooking or brushing our teeth because ammonia and bleach are very strong and powerful bases. Now let's take a look at some properties of bases. So bases, they taste bitter, they feel slippery, they conduct electricity. Strong bases can damage the skin. So for example, using something like a hair relaxer or a perm to straighten your hair. And the reason why it's a strong base is because it has this chemical in it called lye. And lye has a pH of 13. If we notice, lye sits right here on the pH scale, which makes it a very strong base. So people that use hair relaxers over an extended period of time, the hair relaxer can actually break your hair follicles at the end and actually take your hair out. And then we also said they turn red litmus paper blue. Let's take a look at this. If you notice, here's a red litmus paper right here. When we dip this red litmus paper in the solution, it turns blue because the solution has a lot of hydroxide ions in it. And we also said that properties of bases, they have a pH above 7. So if you look, bases are 8 to 14. Notice the further we get away from 7, the stronger or the more dangerous the bases become. And the closer we get to 7, the weaker they become. So we would have baking soda sitting about right here hand soap right here and then we would have drain cleaner and bleach and ammonia sitting over here they feel slippery we speak we mentioned that earlier but if you notice when you wash your hand with hand soap bases the hand soap actually feels slippery in your hand and they taste bitter some people like to eat chalk this is not something i like to do but the people that like to eat chalk will tell you that chalk has a bitter taste to it just like pure chocolate without any sugar in it let's take a look at our ph scale and our pH scale stands for the potential of hydrogen. And the scale is used to measure acids and bases. It goes from 0 to 14, with 0 to 6 being an acid, 7 is neutral, and 8 to 14 is a base. Notice that on our acid side, the further we get away from 7, the stronger the acid becomes. So from 1 to 3, we have very strong acids like hydrochloric acid, battery acid or gastric acid which is the acids inside of our stomachs that digest food and then as we get closer to seven the weaker the acid becomes so 
four, five, and six would represent weak acids, like a banana or like milk. We get the seven, seven is neutral. So seven would be like distilled water, like a Dasani water. And then as we go from seven, moving up to eight to 14, eight to 10 is gonna be a weak base. So baking soda would sit around eight. And then we would have dish soap that would sit around the 10. And then as we get 11 to 14, we have very strong bases. So that would be like household lye, the lye that you use to relax your hair. Also bleach, ammonia, and drain cleaning would all be considered strong bases. So one rule of thumb I like to tell my students is that the closer the number is to seven, the weaker or safer it is for you or your body. The further you get away from seven, the more dangerous it is to you or your body. So for example, a banana is fine, baking soda is fine, hydrochloric acid is not fine, it's not good for your body, nor is household bleach, ammonia, or drain cleaner for, drain cleaner for your body. Closer to seven, good. Further from seven, not so good for your body. So if you notice, here's our pH scale with the common household items and their pH. If you notice, water is in the middle, so water is neutral. That's why it's, it's important that we consume large amounts of water because it's a neutral substance and it doesn't harm our bodies. But notice, as we get further from water, from neutral, here's milk right here, here's a banana, and then here's tomato, here's apple, but then here's vinegar and lemon juice. Notice they tell us don't drink a lot of vinegar and lemon juice. Why? Because they're very acidic. And then as we go down even further, you look at hydrochloric acid. Well, you don't want to drink hydrochloric acid at all because that would kill you. Also, gastric acid, one thing that's interesting is that gastric acid, which is our stomach acid, it sits at around a one or a two, but it's able to sit in our stomach due to the inner lining of our stomach. So it protects us. Now, people that have acid reflux, this could be very painful for them because if they're burping up, the acids in their stomach, it often burns their throat and burns their esophagus. Why? Because it's a very strong acid. And then if you notice, we come to the other side, we're back to water, but look, here's baking soda right here. Baking soda is close to water or close to neutral. That's why we can use it when cooking or making or preparing our foods. But then as we move further from seven or move further from eight, notice we have soap sitting in here at a 10. And I don't know anyone that likes to eat soap. That's, that's poisonous to our system, plus it's pretty nasty. And then if we notice, here's ammonia right here. Here's ammonia. And then bleach would be sitting at like a 12. So the reason why they say don't mix ammonia and bleach together is because ammonia is a very powerful base, so is bleach. So when you mix them together, you multiply their toxicity level or how dangerous or strong they are tenfold. So if someone was mopping in a bathroom and they mix ammonia and bleach together well if the door was closed the ammonia and bleach would create a very powerful gas and could possibly end up making someone pass out and eventually killing them so that's why you don't mix those two together and then we have drain cleaner all the way at the, all the way at the end over here so drain cleaner is the most basic substance so you definitely don't want to consume drain cleaner now let's look at litmus paper and we use litmus paper in our experiments to determine how acidic or basic a substance is. So for example, blue litmus paper remains blue if the substance is a base, but it turns red if the substance is an acid. So if you notice right here, here's our blue litmus paper. But when we dip the blue litmus paper into this substance, it turns red because that substance is acidic, which means that it releases hydrogen ions in that water solution. If we look at our red litmus paper, it remains red if the substance is an acid, but it turns blue if the substance is a base. So for example, here's our red litmus paper on this side. And when we dip our red litmus paper into the solution, it turns blue because that solution contains many hydroxide ions in it. And once again, we use litmus paper to determine how acidic or how basic a substance is. The litmus paper turns different colors depending on the amount of hydroxide or hydrogen ions in it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you have a quiz and you're going to answer the following questions. I'm going to give you 10 minutes to answer these questions and I'll pause the video beginning now. Let's check to see how well you did on your quiz. So number one, a substance feels slippery when wet. That would be considered a base. Two, a substance turns red litmus paper blue, that would be a base as well. 
Number three, a substance tastes sour, there will be an acid. Number four, a substance tastes bitter, there will be a base, like chalk. Number five, a substance corrodes metal, that of course would be an acid. And number six, if a substance is considered a base, then it has more hydroxide ions in it. Number seven, if a substance is considered an acid, then it has more hyd hydrogen ions in it. Let's look at number eight. A substance with a pH of 2 would be considered a very strong acid. Remember, the further from 7 it gets, the stronger it becomes. Number 9, the closer a substance gets to a pH of 7, the weaker it becomes. So remember, we said the closer it gets, the weaker or safer it becomes for us. Number 10, ammonia will be considered to be a strong acid, weak acid, strong base, or weak base. It will be a very strong base. Remember, ammonia sits at around 11 to a 14. Number 11, a banana would be considered to be a very weak acid because it sits at around a pH of 5. Number 12, why would it be dangerous to mix bleach and ammonia together? Because both are very strong bases. Number 13, why do people take Tums? Now, this one is probably a little tricky for you. If you notice, I talked about your stomach acid, which is gastric acid. It's very strong. It has a pH level of 2. People that have acid reflux also often take Tums to neutralize the acids in their stomach. That means to actually make it less acidic. And then number 14, what substance is considered to be neutral on a pH scale? And that is going to be water. Ladies and gentlemen, I know you did wonderfully on this quiz, and I hope this tutorial was very helpful for you. I'm Travis Spivey, signing off with my son Jordan Spivey. Have a wonderful, awesome day. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.